Hey, I'm Alexis Mendoza, and I'm here to get the scoop on the cooking club and their activities throughout the years. What are your expectations over the students in this class? Uh, for this particular class, there's two levels of students. There's fourth year students, and then I have some second years. So the fourth years act as mentors and teachers, and some of the skills that they've learned, they teach the younger kids. The older kids run all of our staff lunches, so they come up with a lunch concept, and they, uh, from start to finish, they run the kitchen. So they, they are staff, and the older kids are managers. The second years, they're still learning. They're um, being introduced to new types of cuisines, uh, different types of protein. So they're still in the process of just being exposed to new cuisines, new spices, new flavors, new techniques. And then once they build on, or once they have accomplished that, they build on that whenever they come in next year and they become the, the mentors. Is there any of your students that have been awarded or uh, got first place in any of these competitions? Uh, yeah, we actually did win a competition with um, uh, Medical City in Dallas. They put a competition together where we had to create a healthy kids menu and it was in conjunction with several restaurants throughout North Texas and we were paired with Christina's fine Mexican restaurant it's a chain and uh, we won first place so now our uh, our menu item will be featured in all of the Christina's throughout the DFW locations all right when learning a new concept in the class how is your preferred learning style um, I prefer watching her do it first and let her explain it to us in order for us to actually get it. Okay, how about you? Yeah, the same way. Being able to see it visually is way better than actually doing it, trying to figure it out by ourselves. Just working together, it gets the job done, bro. You know what I mean? Well, I like to learn using the internet. She gives us the recipes, you know, but I don't know. I feel like you can spice it up with the internet, you know, look for some new stuff to throw in. Uh, hands on. I like hands on learning. I'm not really of like a hit the books and stuff, so hands on. When learning a new concept, do, do y'all learn better working alone or with a team? With the team, because I like to hear like their point of view of their the different way ideas they, yeah. of the concept. Yeah. Well, I do it by teams usually, you know, with preferred people. It's better whenever you have someone that you, you know, like if you have problems with somebody, you know, you can't really learn as well with them because you can't get past the, you know, issues, you know, people getting attitude, whatnot. Yeah, pretty much, bro. Always in teams. When we usually do like, um, how do you say, like um, judging and stuff, we usually do two pairs of us. So it's just a pair of us and we get stuff done. Do you learn better working with projects or having like little side uh, practice attempts? Well, both because, you know, in here, either chefs has me, you know, doing a big project or making staff lunches or doing some other side jobs with her. So I do both. I'm yes, way better with projects because we get to know each other and get to know each other's habits and how we do stuff, and it's just way, way better. So like, if there's no teamwork, there's nothing gonna flow. If there's no team, it's like a, it's like a bridge. If there's no support, we can't do it alone. I prefer projects because it incorporates teamwork. Um, you get to do bigger stuff like alone. You know, it's a lot more quantity, so you can't really make as much stuff because you know. We don't need all that stuff, you know? Okay, so what is one big uh, cuisine that y'all made or big project that you've had to make? Mm, when we had to figure out like our own type of recipe to, and put it in a pretty plate, you know, just to impress others. Yeah. What are you learning about now? Right now we're just learning about working together and we're learning about how to get stuff done, you know what I mean? Like just doing everything right and following recipes and following instructions. That's all we gotta do and that gets the job done, bro. Uh, right now, we're learning more with cooking meat and stuff. Uh, we began with cooking uh, like pastries and stuff. We're getting more into real food, you know? Right now, we're, <laughs> I'm learning money of costing, how to cost things, um, uh, costing, what else? Can you um, explain what that costing is? So we'll like get a recipe and we'll divide everything up like the measurements and all that, and we'll cost it out. How much the bottle of like, say, we're making rice, fried rice, to see how much rice we're using, how much did the bag cost, and then cost out how much, like, divide it, how much we're using, and 
constantly. What do you enjoy most about this class? Um, I like creating. You know, it's fun. Um, I'm also in band, but you don't get to create like you do in here. You know, you, you like music. It's different. And here, you know, you get to create, and it's you can throw in whatever you want, and you know somehow it's gonna make it better or gonna make it worse. <laughs> yeah, it worse. So, you know, you gotta know what you're doing. So it takes a lot of focus. So, you know, it's fun. The just the hands-on cooking. Um, what else? The competitions. You know, I'm a comp I like competitions. Are you in any right now? Um, right now, we just finished one about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I believe. We didn't place, but we did a good job. You know, it was real fun. We have learned today that students like to work in groups rather than working alone, and there are currently competitions they can participate in. This has been Alexa Mendoza with the Skeeto by News.